Hello, everybody, and welcome back to part two of the Mississippi Steamship Bill. We're going to pick up right where we left off, and we're going to dive right into putting together some steaming chimneys on this bad chicken. All right. We'll space it out a little bit. I'm just going to go in here with some cayenne terracotta, because it has kind of that cool um, old iron look to it. going to repeat that process on the other side as well. Let's fire away. Okay. Now we want to make sure that we're not making it too tall and we want to make sure that they're not too squat. You know, back in the day these these chimneys would be a little bit above everything in order to keep people clean and that smoke getting into things. All right, so we've got our iconic double chimney put together. Now we'll put together the pilot house to the wheelhouse essentially where the steering wheel was for the entire boat. If you didn't know. All right. And these were usually a little elevated, so we're going to lift it up and you'll see. We'll lift this. Bring it a little higher, get some texture in there with some, some, uh, some quartz pillars, some fencing. All right, that looks pretty good in terms of, you know, scale and proportion. So we'll add in the roof next. I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna keep it with white. And I wanna use these quartz slabs. You know, the reason why I chose these over the smooth ones is I kinda like the tiled look. Makes it look more like metal that's been painted, I guess. I think it's important to have a mixture of uh, different textures too, just adds intrigue. Cool. Add a spotlight. There are a couple ways of doing a spotlight. You can use, I like using these sea lanterns and then just coating them in, uh, in trap doors. And then we'll use a hopper here. That really completes it. Nice. Yeah, that looks good. Cool, I dig it. Definitely dig that. All right, let's add a little bit more tech, a little more detail here. Add the floor, this, some black glass to give it kind of like a smoky look, and then we're also adding trap doors around the uh, perimeter of the roof as well, just to give it some more intrigue. Add some signs. cover up the hopper. I guess I'll just go around the perimeter of the roof. Just like this. Okay. Cool. Looks pretty good. I think we need to add a little bit of detail to the inside of this pilot house. You know, some navigational charts and just things in general, just to take up space. Honestly, just to take up space. I also want to put a nice bell on the front. I think it adds a good, good little nautical detail to it. Like, yeah, see, that looks perfect. I need some fencing around the top. To keep people from falling off and into the water. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're not done yet. We still have quite a ways to go with this. There's always like this super structure on the front. It's kind of like a crane. I think it is a crane actually. Or a lifting mechanism of sorts. So we'll go ahead and throw one of those in there. And we just want to make sure that everything is scaled appropriately. So if you have a picture of a paddle wheeler that you're looking at, like I usually, when I build, I have a picture of what it is that I'm building. Um, kind of just for reference. You know, upload a picture on your phone. Just helps. Okay. Continue to add crane details. Just like rigging. Make it look like there's a boom or something like that. Like using brown wool for like, kind of like a chain link material. Cool. I know it's not perfect, but she'll do. All right, now I want to add a skylight. 
So the main salon downstairs got some natural lighting. It adds another layer of detail. You'll see how I go ahead and do this. I'm basically just making like a sky. It is a skylight. That's exactly what it is. Is it's a skylight, and we want to use glass blocks. That's really the important thing for this. Is glass blocks. There we go. And I'll use light gray to give it kind of a antiquified look. Antiquated look. That's, I think that's the proper, proper word to use is antiquated, rather antiquified. I don't know what I said. My goodness. The world we live in. All right. Cool. And that's going to look awesome from downstairs in the main salon once that's all detailed and opened up. Now, of course, there needs to be a place for everybody to sit. So if people come out to the top deck, they need a place to, you know, sit down and watch watch the world go by. So I'll add some benches. All right. Add some vents. Add a rear rear little flagpole sort of doodad. Some stuff going on there. Cool. Add some lamps. All right. Add more detail to that interior of the wheelhouse. Again, we want to make it look like there's charts, all sorts of nautical charts and navigational equipment. Just various odds and ends. You know, it doesn't have to be super specific and purposeful. It just it's just kind of wants to look the part. All right. Add some pots to the top of those fence posts and an item frame. Woo! All right, cool. We've got ourselves a steering wheel. Maybe something on top here just to cover up the fact that that's a post. Cool. That looks just about right. I'm okay with that. I'm also gonna add item frames to the sides of all these benches. So it looks like there's uh, some extra detail on there as well. I'm also gonna add these iron, uh, some of those puppies in there. Again, just random details. If you have fun ideas for different details, by all means. And if you come up with a cool idea for an added detail and you know, you're pretty proud of it, you know, post a comment, post a picture, send me a picture on Instagram. That's a huge thing. You know, if you haven't had a chance to go check out the Instagram, the Instagram's pretty sweet. It's just Empire Build Blocks. Got all sorts of stuff on there. Definitely worth checking out. If you haven't already. All right, and some more fences. Cool. This is starting to look like a ship. All right. Add some smooth sand, smooth stuff in there, some smooth quartz. Cool. Look at that. Ready to sit sail on the mighty Mississippi. All right. Now for the big one. The thing we've all been waiting for is the big wheel on the back. I'm gonna start by outlining it because that's really the best way of going about this. You know, outline your shape. Just makes the whole process a lot better. We're gonna have to do a little bit of cosmetic changing, especially to the back of the ship, just to make room for the big wheel. I usually just start with a square and then I round off the edges and I get all the proportions down. Proportions are everything. And I think with this, I'm gonna make the wheel a little bit bigger than I think it would prototypically be. And the reason for that is I want it to be, I want it to be substantial. It's my ship, I can do what I want. So now we'll do the, uh, figure out how wide we want this bad chicken to be. Yeah, I think a little bit less than half, a little bit less than the width of the ship itself. shape of the circle on the uh, end as well. And we're gonna do this for the other side too. Oh, got a little, a little spacing issue there. Not a little blockage. There we go. Now we're cruising. Cool. We 
got about half of it there. So we're gonna repeat the process on the other side, making sure that we're not making it longer or smaller or anything like that. It's gotta be uniform. The key to making this work visually is it has to be uniform. Now we'll go ahead and we'll add in the struts, the, the spokes, I guess. I'm not sure what you would call it. I'll call it struts for the wheel. And I'm gonna do vertical and horizontal in the same terracotta color as the wheel itself. I'm gonna do this a couple times just to make it look like it's got some, uh, some structural value. There's gotta be something holding it together. All right, we've got the main axle on there now. We're just gonna keep doing these vertical and horizontal struts. Now I'm gonna do the diagonal ones and I'm gonna use pink terracotta, oddly enough. I want a little differentiation in color and I'll do that for every single vertical and horizontal strut on every side. So this is, it's a little tedious, but trust me, the effect is cool. It all works out. on the bottom. Okay. All right, sweet. We're just gonna add in some more. I'm basically doing a circle within the circle. Looks pretty good. We'll just do that for a couple spots. Looks like we forgot a strut there. it dimension and it's not too visually confusing you know if it was all the same color I think it would be visually confusing to the eye now something's obviously got to hold the wheel in place and we're going to extend the back of the ship back a ways so we're gonna have to do a little improvisation here as well to make it work process on the other side of the boat. Awesome. Okay. Okay. That looks like a pretty gosh darn good paddle wheeler right there. I'm gonna add an American flag to this too. I've got American flags all over this map that I made. And they're really fun. They add like a cool little cool little detail. And I'm just using kind of dull colors for it because it makes it look sun faded. Like old canvas. Alright. That looks pretty good. Alright. Alright. 
Okay, I see you. Maybe some lanterns. Cool. I think that about wraps that up. Let's take a look at it uh, with a realistic shader and really see how it works. And that looks awesome. That is exactly how I wanted it to come out. Just look at it. These shaders are really incredible. If anybody's wondering what shaders I use, I use the Silder shaders. I just max it out on this computer I have. Oh yeah, look at that. It is hard to be a good build. And I can imagine like people doing all sorts of cool stuff with this too. Like you could make a sweet like gambling riverboat, anything you really want. World is your oyster. And that's really the fun thing about Minecraft is that you can do anything that you want to do. You are not restricted by any means. All right, guys, that about wraps up this Let's Get Building tutorial on the Mississippi Steamship. Let me know what you think. Did you like this? Do you want to see more modern stuff? Do you want to see more vintage stuff? This is all very good information that I can use to determine which direction the channel's gonna go. You know, I like diversity, and I think diversity is a good thing, but I also appreciate all sorts of criticism. So let it rip, America. Let it rip, world. We're all about it. Um, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you guys all for your support. Give it a like. Be sure to subscribe for future stuff. Thank you guys so much. This has been another Let's Get Building tutorial.